soldiers came up against a stronger force. A much, much stronger force.
I kind of have my hands full right now. Just let me deal with this creature, and I'll be right with you. That's what they always say. They always end up with their flesh torn to pieces. Which is a real good reason to stop distracting me.
My hero! You did it! You're so big and strong! Now would you kindly get me out of this stinking cage? Do not do it! I know this woman. She is not here by accident. She is a witch! If you free her, we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic. But father, we can't just let this poor person die here. It would be inhuman. Inhuman? That is exactly what she is, my child. He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her. Father? She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child. I'm begging you, get me out of here. I can't hold on much longer. Who are you? My name is Edwin. The ignorant will tell you that I'm a witch, a sorceress, or even a necromancer. The truth is much simpler and more socially acceptable. I am, in fact, a magician. But neither as powerful nor as evil-minded as they think me. She lies to thee. She is hiding something, and it is not her body. You would say that. I beg your pardon? No, nothing. Believe me, she is powerful. She is evil, and she is a danger to us all. You seem to know a lot about her. What the hell are you doing here anyway? The steward asked me to look into a dark power that has been affecting some of the villagers. Something evil. And my search has led me here. It is no coincidence. That cursed woman is the cause. I wouldn't expect him to admit to keeping a woman captive in the swamps for his own evil purposes. Nonsense! And so you just trotted out here with no escort. What, were you afraid we'd charge you extra? I came here as quickly as possible, yes. To stop you committing a grievous error. I was hoping that you would escort us back to the village afterwards. Without a supplement, yes. Seems to me that you are quite well paid. I've never been in the habit of just letting people die like animals in a cage. Whatever their crimes may be. This woman doesn't look like a dead walker. That's enough for me. We'll take her back to Valvanor, and you can tell your stories to them. Stay away, you stupid girl! No! Fools! Leave her in that cage! Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Father? Oh no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you would die back there in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. I am Falcon, Powder Master of the Freeborn Blades. And as for the man you made the mistake of killing, he was our... That is not my question. Who stands before me? Are you an imbecile or blind? I might be the mercenary who is going to grab you by your snake of a tongue and throw you into the darkest pit he can find. From what I can see, you're an imbecile, incapable of piercing the face that hides the true nature of the Red Scribes. Well, I can pierce your face, if that's all you want, in several places. Mock, if you like, lamb that you are. You insist on believing that your employers are only scholars, curious and inoffensive. Can you not see more? 
Red scribes, ice lords, they come from the same mold and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the ice lords. That's why he questioned me. So what? We're at war, and getting our asses kicked. We can't really blame him for trying to find a way to stop the Deadwalkers. Of course. It was for the good of all that I was captured and sequestered here in secret. It was to protect freedom that I was starved, tortured, and humiliated for weeks on end. It was goodwill and kindness that made him enslave a monster to guard my prison. <laughs> oh yes, I heard them, all of the screams. That beast did not lack for meat, no indeed. Yes, in truth, the scribe was such a brave man that it was only for the happiness of his darling daughter that he tried to stab her. That's ridiculous! You are the monster! You're a liar! My father wasn't like that! A liar! You murderer! You pay for what you did! Sybil, wait! Witch, I suggest you behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I'm far from finished with you. I have questions. Lots of questions. And you had better make damn sure I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. You had the upper hand. Why did you decide to kill the leader of the Red Scribes? I desperately needed to replenish my power, so I drained his. My mood grows a bit murderous when I get too hungry, or when I spend too many days trapped in a filthy cell without so much as a toilet. Your friend was no hero. His aim was to reproduce the... He wasn't my friend. He was a deceitful and man... The World Guard has had nothing but suffering from these magicians. Let's say I understand your reasons. But it was still a reprehensible thing to do that has put us both in a seriously shitty situation. We're going to have to play this right in Valvador. We'll try to talk with the steward. Or the Red Scribes will lynch you without a second thought. We? Am I to infer that you're going to help me, gentle mercenary? Somebody has to deal with it. You seem to take pleasure in exposing yourself. To trouble, I mean. It's true. I hate denying myself a little pleasure. But I'm not worried about the outcome. Aeolus's daughter saw everything. She is an innocent and will confirm everything that happened here. All you need to do is deliver your model prisoner to your steward. Besides Elas. I was, but his, if they are. The rich. So, given the ease with which I killed him, I suspect the rich. Let's just say the results weren't quite what he was hoping for. But something definitely... A thing? What? A sort of parasite. The Red Scribes... Neither one nor the other, insolent boy. I bring thee flames. I bring thee the world heart. I bring thee the power. And thou wilt have hold me back with thy ingratitude and thy weak, pitiful body. Thou darest name me Parasite. Hello? You still here? Huh? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. He's kind of sensitive. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. The end result is I sometimes find myself wondering who I am. What I am. Then again... This is absolutely fascinating. I think when we get the chance, there is probably much to learn from this. We'll see. For now we've got... Let's finish this discussion in Valvanor. We better get back before they send a battalion.